Hey, g'day everybody. This will be just a, a quick episode, and I guess I'm mainly doing this one to see if I can get a few comments uh, that might point me in a better direction than I'm going. And it possibly is that this is the only direction that I can actually work with. I've been helping someone build, or at least fix their map uh, for a Nitrato server, and making some progress, but it's very, very slow. And the main aim that they were looking for, other than fixing the power stones, which I can do, they wanted to make sure that all the islands they had on the map had at least the resources covered. You know, so that because it was only a 3x3 three three grid, it had all the power stones on there. You have a limited space left over for islands and you've got to make sure that you have all the resources in the map. And the current game map has a huge number of overrides. So if we actually go into the foliage overrides, these are the current ones that are available. So if we actually have a look at the tropical one, each of the various settings here, and this is not an exhaustive list of the settings. There's actually more settings than that. Probably the one that has the most is the Freeport Override. This has pretty much every single resource in the list. And it's all been overrided to a harvest component for a Freeport. So that's why you only get uh, the basic resources in the Freeport. Um, but yeah, there's all these other ones. And at the moment I've been looking at this 07 Equator stuff. And all of the stuff in here, so they've, they've actually overridden Aloe for Aloe, which seems a little bit redundant. Um, but yeah, so we got an older bush is going to only get the Akai or Asai ones. Bilberry is still Bilberry, Blackberry is still Blackberry. But then Cloudberries is Asai, you know. Huckleberry is Lingonberry. And so they've overridden to have only a very specific set of results that are actually going to come into the game. Uh, and I've been trying to work out what is it they're actually overriding, you know. So it's not what they've overridden it to. What was the base setting in the first place? So obviously you could play the game, remove all of the overrides and just play with the base islands until you work out what's on there. There's some stuff on the wiki, there's a bit of stuff out there, there's, but you know, nobody, well, possibly somebody does know for sure exactly what's in there. But I went on a bit of an escapade to try and work out what is actually the base stuff. So if you take something like the, the KA Islands here, uh, the KA Islands, if you edit the island on the right hand side of the grid editor, you get told what the sub levels are for that island. And these sub levels, the far, the farthest, the near and the marine warm water, these all determine the base set of uh, harvest items that you actually get on the island. But you don't know what they are within the actual game itself. And I haven't even looked into these extra sub levels yet, but they seem to have information around oak and all that kind of stuff. And then there's all these overrides, which was those things that we were looking at just before. So there's a huge amount of complexity, but obviously pare it down and get it back to its base level. What is it that by default spawns on the island so that you know what it is that you're trying to override in the first place? And so you can actually have a lot of control over what resources spawn on your island. So I now know what the sub levels are. But we have to move away from the grid editor and move into the dev kit. Now I've already loaded this up. Uh, when you first load it up, it's got to basically do a lot of asset compilation and things like that. It takes quite a long time the first time you load it up for everything to happen. I then navigated into maps, went into the seamless test, found the base ocean level, double click that, and loaded it into my, well, I don't even know what this is actually called, but this is essentially the, the map. It spawned in as a blank map. I opened up my levels so that I could see all the things that were on the persistent level. And in here I could find each of those KA far, farthest, marine water and near. And this is the 07 variant from the KAEE. -E. So these are the exact ones. So I loaded all of those levels in to the ocean and I ended up getting this island. There was a bunch of extra stuff but I've actually hidden them and they're just like little basically uh, various volumes that I actually have no idea what they do. but by turning them off you don't see them anymore you get a bit of a clearer image and I can zoom in and we can actually get right down onto the island and you know there's sounds and everything like that because at the top here on the right we've actually got sound effects and video effects and that's where we can actually see like the leaves that are actually falling they're actually part of these items but what we're actually interested in is the actual foliage itself right so if we select one of these it's not actually in this actor list but if I get details on what I've selected, it ends up that it's a instanced foliage actor. It took me quite a while to work out what was going on here because the instanced foliage actor is not a selectable actor within the screen. But these items on the ground, this ground clutter, I know because I've actually been working with it for a while. It's actually part of the, was it the near? Well, we can turn these off, right? So if I turn those off, we're left with the ground clutter. And so it's part of the 
ka nu 7 we make sure that that is our current level and then on the top left here if i go to my foliage manager i can then scroll through and we can then all of a sudden we get to see all of the foliage that's actually a part of that particular actor and obviously i can draw it if i want to and zoom zoom zoom, zoom, zoom doing lots of damage to the uh, level there but it's all a bit of a by the by i'm not actually interested in any of that stuff but yeah you can basically turn off what you're drawing what you aren't drawing and you can draw new foliage on but i wanted to know what was actually in there in the first place and now that i've done that i've probably wrecked what i'm about to do but that's fine it will work out all right in the long run because i'll reset it all what i want is the statistics so obviously i can go through that list on the left there one at a time working at and writing down every single plant that is actually associated with that but what i worked out is that i can actually pull up the statistics on the map and it will actually tell me all of the stuff that's been rendered via the levels and this has even got the stuff that i actually just made invisible right because that's where the coconut palms are actually the trees that i just made invisible but the level is loaded and so the statistics are actually being brought in on that and so here they are and so this is actually seems to be a full list of every single foliage item on the game and so i can actually drill down on these and the coconut palm is probably actually a good one to do so if i click on the coconut palm in my content browser it will take me to the static mesh for that item if i open up that static mesh we can actually see uh, it hasn't actually probably loaded here but there is actually a branch that will load eventually it takes a little while for the uh, system to work out that there's actually something there but this is actually one of the coconut trees and when we actually tell it to draw the coconut tree right so that's basically one of these things and the, the tree itself wasn't drawing for some reason inside there when i actually opened it up it eventually does it just takes a while for it to actually load i don't know why but it's just an unreal engine thing for my computer but now that we've actually got that that's actually the one uh when we were actually looking at the stuff in the island editor when if we go into the foliage overrides and we have a look at one of these we can see that we actually have settings that are being overridden and these settings also exist in here all right, so coconut palm B actually has palm B settings. And so we can actually open up the settings. Inside here, we can actually see that it's the harvest component for oak is actually the harvest component. So when we were looking at uh, one of the other things, um, it's actually the spreadsheet that I'm currently building, which actually has all the stuff. All right? So the harvest component isn't necessarily the resources that you're going to get. Oh, that's right, it was in the island editor. The foliage override attachment in here. And we see that it's the harvest component. And that's not actually the resources. When we go in here and we actually zoom in on the harvest component, which we've now gone to in our content browser, I can open that up. And in here, the very first item here is the harvest resource entries, of which there's two elements. We expand the first one, and we can actually see it's the primal resource for wood underscore oak. And then the other one will be the thatch resource, which is thatch front. So anything which has the harvest component oak will have those two resources as the results. And so now for that one entry, I've worked out for a coconut palm, that is what you're going to get. But I then need to do that for every single one of these items. And that's only for the K underscore A 007, 07, the ka07 sub levels so i've got to find every single sub level that has an item assigned to it work out what the assignments are and build a matrix which has all of the resource names what were the settings what's the harvest type what's the resources you're going to get and then specify whether that particular island type or i should probably be actually putting the sub levels in there too uh, what you know what do you actually get and then be able to use this as a master list if you plug an island in look up your island find out what resources you're going to get do i want to change it and then you can build effectively your own harvest overrides or you know obviously you could shortcut it by basically coming in here grabbing the freeport override which seems to have every single setting in the list and then you basically have to override everything hoping that it's on the island or not Anyway, that seems to be the challenge that I've given myself, which is a ridiculously long challenge, and part of the reason why I haven't been posting even my uh, irregular videos. And this is what I'm up to. What I'm hoping is that somebody knows a quicker way 
to be able to export all this data because it's a particularly long process trying to understand the under the bonnet stuff and really I think for the map that I'm actually working on with the fellow uh, I'll probably end up just looking at the handful of islands that they've put on there and work with the resources that are specific to those and go from there anyway let me know what you think down in the comments especially if you have a better way of doing it because I am really really raw when it comes to Unreal uh, Unreal Oh, the UE4 interface anyway, and the Atlas dev kit. Anyway, thanks for listening in, and catch you in the next one.